What is your haha row wait your serious moment? When my 60 year old father told me he broke his hip paragliding into the roof of his hotel. Edit, I should add it was my parents 60th birthday and this was their wild spontaneous event. New friend, I really shouldn't be doing so many extreme sports, but you gotta live your life, right? I'm gonna end up in a wheelchair by the time I'm 30. Me, ha, I know, right? New friend, no I mean really, I have a degenerative disease that's going to ruin my body by my 30s, so I'm trying to live my life now. I listed my Ford Explorer for sale. A guy emailed me to trade his 2018 car for tear or something. I didn't really need one, since my fleet already had a 2013 car forte, but he emailed me a few times saying he wants my explorer, but owes money on his car. I said how much? He said it's an 8 year finance deal so need to pay in total dollar sign 45k, and he wanted my car. I could buy that car right now for dollar sign 25-30k at the dealership brand new, he was dead serious. Waking up from general anesthesia. One of the nurses by my hospital bed gently informs me that my heart had stopped while I was under. I thought I was dreaming for a while and didn't take it seriously. Then my dad showed up and I saw the panic on his face. Then I phoned my mum, and she had obviously been crying her eyes out. Then I took it seriously. Breaking news. People panic buying toilet paper. Me at home. Ha ha ha. Me at grocery store. Oh wait you're serious. This was a few years ago. I forgot how the topic was brought up, but I clearly remember my older sister saying, there aren't any modern buildings in Egypt, just pyramids. When I was in high school I received a message over MSN from a buddy saying, Mitch is dead. Thinking he got into trouble, I responded with, ah what did he do? It turns out, he had a brain aneurysm while driving home from school. Someone once said to my friend, wait you're Chinese? I always thought you were Asian. I asked a coworker with what his son's name was, and he answered legless. After 2 seconds of laughing I realized he wasn't laughing. His son is actually named Legless. Someone wanted to euthanize their dog, because when she was put outside alone in heat, she found a chihuahua and had ugly puppies that cost a breeding session, when we asked what that had to do with anything. He said the chihuahua's sperm is forever inside of her, and can make those ugly puppies instead of the purebred. This dog was definitely not a purebred, when we said that things don't work that way he said. I know for a fact they do. That's why my daughter is half, n-word, a, n-word, raped my wife back, when she was in her twenties and his sperm stayed inside her until mine activated it. And we all know, n, sperm is more violent so it won. He was serious. Yesterday my mother called to tell me that she thinks I have the coronavirus. I have seasonal allergies and no symptoms related to the virus, BTW. She then proceeded to tell me that scientists discovered the virus cannot live over 133 degrees Fahrenheit. At first I got excited that a breakthrough had been made and thought maybe I missed the news announcement. Then she said, yeah. So they are saying, if you plug in a head rear and keep breathing in the hot air it will kill the virus and you will be fine. I immediately started cracking up because I thought she had made a joke. Then she got very offended and said it was a real scientific video she saw on Facebook. Facipum. I'm in Australia and first heard the news of 9 over 11 on my morning radio, USA evening. I was stuck in traffic near the army base, and they announced it with sirens. To start off with I thought it was a comedy sketch that I didn't think was particularly funny. I had a pretty dark sense of humor too. Then I realized it was news. Holy shit. I once worked with a 50 some year old guy at my first job, who also happened to be a former crackhead. I added in that detail because his mannerisms and communication were clearly affected by his prior drug use and he would sometimes laugh when he was telling serious stories. One day he was telling me a story about him accidentally setting fire to the woods when he was trying to cremate his dead pet frog when he was a little boy. 
I was laughing my ass off, strangely so was he, until he looked me dead in the eye, with a face that's as serious as they get, and says, I'm still not over it. I knew that look and knew he was actually being serious despite being in absolute hysterics with me, while telling his story, I immediately felt like an asshole. He was cool about it though thankfully lol. Colleague's wife confronting me on speakerphone. Are you having an affair with my husband? My exact response was to all laughing, managing to offend them both simultaneously. Good job, jeek peeps. An intern at the vet I work at was a very 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 sheltered Mormon. He came to work one day panicked. He had his first kiss the night before, asked the girl to marry him, and was concerned about his wedding date. He was absolutely convinced that he got her pregnant by kissing her. Absolutely convinced. It took me a long time to register what he was panicked about because it sounded so absurd. He'd delivered hundreds of kittens and puppies by then. I just thought he had also learned about human reproductive anatomy as well as animals by then. When my friend told me she was getting a divorce. I literally laughed and said, oh, sure you are. Then I saw her face. I came into my job and my boss was running a bit late for an unknown reason. Now, my boss is the type of person to joke about anything, no matter how serious it is, and will pull it off with a straight face. We never really take him seriously, unless it is directly related to work. He comes in, after being late and after a bit, just casually says our clothes Kawaka had passed the previous night. I literally chuckled and said, yeah, sure, and blew it off. He then said that he died from a heart attack before he was set to go out with his buddies during the evening. I then said, oh wait, are you actually serious? And he almost started crying right there and said yes. I miss that man to this day, really chill guy with some cool hobbies and volunteer work. I also feel so bad for my boss because they had known each other for years. I had a friend whose brother was kidnapped. He was with me in my school and he didn't know of it. In fact his parents didn't tell him about it because they thought it would be really inappropriate time to do so. We were in a boarding school and both far from home. We weren't allowed cell phones in the campus either. Our finals were going on. It was a really crucial exam. His parents had informed the school principal and the principal had a talk with the teachers. Somehow a math teacher accidentally told him that his brother was kidnapped. My friend was like, nice joke bud. Teacher laughed it off and hid his mistake. Finally, he got the news by his parents himself. His family was threatened to give money or else they would kill his brother. They didn't have that much to give. My friend failed his exams. He changed his career and began preparation to join police department. I understand his frustration. The police also could not help him with his case back then. He is going to graduate this year. I'm really going to cry when I see him in the police uniform. It's really insane how all things change in fraction of seconds. Kawaka was telling me the world was flat. I'd never met a real flat earther in the wild before that. When I came back from lunch at work to find that one of the soft drink vendors, because at grocery stores they stock their own product, our stockers don't, loaded the pallets wrong and a tower of pallets fell, spilling soda slash tea slash glass everywhere. The boss, store manager, just so happened to walk into the back room at the same time, looked at me, and was like, you saw it, you're cleaning it up. Thinking he was joking as he liked to do, I laughed it off. That's when he looked me dead in the eye and said, no, I mean you're really cleaning it up, because that's your job. Insert me spending the rest of my shift cleaning it up, and my department head constantly calling me over intercom, and getting yelled at, and then written up the very next day, because I didn't do my duties in addition to cleaning up that epic mess. Getting fired later, that year was one of the best things to happen to me. I met a girl at a former job, and we took a fancy to each other quickly. I only ever knew her by her nickname at this point, but we hung out for breakfast and I asked her name. She replied, Bubbles, and I began laughing in her face, thinking it's a joke. But no, her parents legitimately named this girl Bubbles, and I just had a deep, hearty laugh at how freaking stupid it was, in her face. New relationship with a super nice lady. Romantic weekend jet away. 
she suggests an afternoon float down a nearby river in a canoe. I know from experience canoeing is a serious test of relationship potential. My ex-wife and I couldn't even carry a canoe from the beach to the bay without getting into an argument. Anyhow, new relationship, super nice lady. I'm determined to be a great team player and competent man. I have plenty of experience on the water. This should be a cinch. Canoe livery guy drives us to the drop off. While he is taking the canoe off the trailer and telling us how long the float is and where the pickup point is I'm looking at the river. The wide, slow moving river. The extremely slow moving river. Along with the fact that it is a blustery windy day, I can't for the life of me tell which way the river flows. Some leaves are floating left, some leaves are floating right. I toss in a stick and it just floats around in a circle. I'm starting to sweat. I figure I have a 50 over 50 chance of guessing correctly, but if I guess wrong it could be a disaster. Having to ask is a total embarrassment. I'm hoping the livery guy makes some reference to direction but no. I'm desperately hoping to see someone else float by but no. I picture us paddling upstream for 2 hours and being lost on the river. Livery guy hands us our paddles and says, so, if there's nothing else I'll see you in a couple hours. Have fun. I bite the bullet and decide that asking is the best way forward. Uh, yeah. Which way is downstream? Livery guy and super nice lady both laugh thinking I'm joking. No, I'm serious. Livery guy stops laughing and just points. I'm sure he was thinking that was the most stupid thing he had ever heard. We paddle down river a bit and super nice lady says, boy, am I glad you asked. I thought downstream was the other way. Friend 1, hey man, how come you decided to shave all your hair off? Friend 2, the chemo kind of decided for him. Friend 1, ah fuck off Joe, no seriously though, how come? Me, he's actually not joking. Funniest shit that ever happened to me. Edit, I'm basically fine now, on close monitoring for the next few years, but no further treatment. Thanks for asking. It's ridiculous that tampon ads aren't banned. The fact they are allowed in public just goes to show that women have too much power. This wasn't in response to a particularly graphic ad that pushed any boundaries. Just a generic type about comfort and reliability. Took me a while to realize that he wasn't joking. A random dude told me I'm jelly because I know how to make scrambled eggs. Years back I dated a girl who would like impulsively about random things. The first big example I went to her place, she'd just got Assassin's Creed for the first time and was really getting into the story. Like a week later she was telling me how she just discovered her family were related to assassins from Florence. I thought it was a joke, but turns out she was serious, had changed her surname to something Italian on FB, and had already spread the lie about on social media. In my head I was like, I literally watched you play Assassin's Creed last week, but she was gorgeous. One way out of my league, so I put up with this and other crazy shit for another 6 months before I gave up. There's a girl at work who used to call the icing sugar back quote talcum powder. We didn't realize for weeks that she actually thought it was called that. She's actually a pretty switched on girl in general, she just has these weird things. Is there a J in the alphabet? This was a year 12 student. Her name was Judith 